will show you some basic operation of image processing so here this is the image that I will be using for image processing or performing the operations so here I will first create a new folder that I will name as DIP all of the code will be in this folder and also the image that I will be performing some operation on this will be the folder so here let's take all of them to this folder so here all the images are here and now we can just open our MATLAB and start a new script and save it and we need to save this inside our DIP folder also all the code and the images have to be in the same folder just remember that and after this let's save the folder sorry save the code and after this we can start writing our code here so first the CLC and then clear all and if we actually see here okay we can restore it so we can see the output beside this window okay so after this I will just take a variable called a and then I will read the image that I want to show and the image name here we need to write it like this I will be using the first method for file name so here the file name will be inside single quotation and then if we want to actually see an image we need to go to the folder and write the name properly so here I will be using this first image and that name will be b.png you can find the images in the internet if you search for it the, and the one I'm using is actually known the picture of Lena and here you can see on the comment window the value of the image pixels and here I'm showing the image by writing a function I am show and inside this bracket you can show any image so my image is inside variable a I'm showing the variable a and after that I am actually showing another image I will be using this one image 2.jpg and let's see if we can see it now you can see we are actually seeing the first one because we have not yet write the image show so here we will write I am show and now we will run again now you can see we can only see the second image that we are actually um, calling but we are actually showing both the image and but we can see only one now if we change the variable name still we can see only one you can see that from here that is because actually it is being overwritten and if we want to see both the image at the same time then we need to actually write figure in between these two image so here you can write this image or, or you can actually write this subplot for showing both the image in the same frame and here for subplot let's create three column and one sorry three row and one column and then position one and here we will use position two to show our second image okay we need to write the subplot before we are actually showing the image so here before I am show okay now you can see both the image at the same time by using subplot or if you want to show them separately you can use figure and now we don't need to use this B variable we will actually perform all the operation on only the first image so here we will just convert the image to gray okay there is a problem here okay this is this will be RGB to gray not BGR to gray let me just remove this one and let's convert it from here so RGB to gray and then we will convert A from color to RGB you can see the sorry from color to gray you will see the gray image here as the output now we can add some title after this image and here we will copy the title and paste it here that name will be gray image now we will take a variable called C and then we will copy this part and let's paste it after this and here in this section we will show the black and white image and for showing that we need to write 
I M two B W. So image two black and white. And here the value is A because we need to do it for A. And let's show them in a row. So one single row and three column instead of the three row and one column. Now we can see the image here and we need to show the variable C here for the black and white image and now you can see the black and white image and the gray image and the original image and you can compare them and here if we want to do it for D you will see the result same here for the black and white image from the gray image. So here we are going to find the size of our image and here let's find the size of image A. So we need to write like this size and then A. And here you can see the size, the row, number of row, number of column and the value of the plane. Here it is our color image. So there are three plane, color plane for blue, green and red. And that is why we are getting three. And if we want to see the size of B, you will see only these two value okay the row and the column as the number of color plane is one here so we can only find this and here if we want to see for C that will be exactly same because for C this is also black and white image this is not any color image so there is only one plane there too so here that is how we just saw and size and after that we can actually resize our image so we can write resize an image this is how you write comment in, in in your MATLAB and here let's write the comment resize an image and then we will resize our image so here I am resize you need to write it like this and then you can uh, write the uh, parameters like this here we will be using the third one here so here the name of our source that means our variable a and then inside a parameter we will give the value of the new row and column that we want to actually uh, give the give as a size for our input image so here you will see the new size this is the previous size and you can see here and this is the final one and the new size is actually what we have given as our image resize parameter and after this if we want to actually show this one you will see that image image is much smaller than the original one here you see we are actually showing the new image you can see the resolution is also very poor and after this you can see the size is also size has also reduced so here after this we can uh, show the information of an image so check information of an image now we will see uh, all the information of an image so let's uh, show like this I am info and then here inside this we will write our image name okay you can see that undefined function or variable I am info so this will be I am if info now you can see the values here let's see the values again Here you can see that the direction is not actually properly showing here. You are seeing this because of this directory and I have another folder that is called image processing and that is why actually I am not getting any error in this one as the directory is actually still in the previous folder that I was working on. So you need to do this. If you are seeing any kind of error in this code you are running then you need to actually change the directory. Here let's uh, copy this image and let's take this inside our DIP folder okay now let's delete this from my image processing folder okay now you will see the difference if I run this code and if I use this image instead of that image 
so image 7 that is the new image that i have copied in our dip folder but this is not in our image uh, processing folder so that is why you can see now we are actually getting the error but this is actually inside our folder if you are seeing this error you need to actually go to this one click this and select the folder that and where you have actually saved your images and the code now you can see this in current folder section and if we run this we are not getting any error and if we actually see the information of the image you will see the proper direction here okay so if you are getting any kind of error while running that code you just need to browse that folder name on the upper position then you will not see the error anymore so now let's work with our b.png again